Today the students came out with a couple of the volunteers from the Kennebunkport Conservation Trust, one of our partner organizations, and the objective was for them to start collecting data about tidal, wind, and solar here on the island. Ultimately, we want to try and help the lighthouse and the keeper's house get off the grid, and so the students today set up a couple of windmills and uh, they also are looking at some tidal measurements in the currents in the offshore here through the channel. They'll be taking the data they collected today with some drifters and a tidal flow meter and looking at the potential for tidal power there. We're intrigued by the idea of whether we could use something more natural. Could we use the tides? Could we use the sun? Could we use the wind and continue to live in a modern way? Mike Esty at the Makerspace worked with the students to help them learn a little bit about the technology that's involved in setting up these long-term data collectors. It's also to teach the students about alternative energy and how it works and how to integrate it into a system. We brought the high school section of the Gulf of Maine class here to campus to work on a couple of things. And at the same time, we had the students from the UNE class. So we brought them all together to work on primarily looking at the data that they collected out on the island. It's, it's really interesting, especially as a high school student, to be a part of this because it's not something you usually do. You just sit in the classroom and take notes usually. But we're doing this real world stuff. I've definitely learned a lot, like I was familiar with alternative energy sources but it's really cool to get hands on and see like how cheap you can actually do stuff like this and it's not so unattainable as it may seem. It's important because if we can get Goat Island off the grid, we're doing just a little something to reduce our carbon footprint locally. Oh now I'm getting 2.8. And 2.5. The takeaway for this for the students really is to help them understand that if there is a problem in your community that you need to tackle, that if you work with community partners, you can come up with solutions.